All right, let's do some commentary. You got Yurina O, which is a little surprising. Hanoka and Utsuro. I'm surprised Yurina is not Chikage, so I'm kind of intrigued in that. Kimika Yatsuha O in A2. I didn't really look into, the, into this comp too much before the tournament, so not really sure how good that is. I mean, it seems like the, 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 the trick for me is Yurina A2. I'm not exactly sure. Is there any particular synergies that are great with A2 and Himika? Yurina A2 and Himika? I'm not sure. I mean, it's just your, the harmony of shenanigans, right? Your 3-0 attack lets both players take the backwards movement. Oh, yeah. Because okay. Yurina A2 always has weird shenanigans. Yeah, that makes sense. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, that's the gimmick. Because, like, you're in A2, like, nobody actually plays you're in A2. You take one card that really suits the other Megami and just play the rest of the well, other yeah, cards. Yeah, you can also research your red bullet for value. That's intriguing. That's highly situational, though. I don't think that would matter at that point. You'd have so many cards in your hand with Himika. It, that 3 1, you know, their opponent would already be deep into the ground by the point you're playing Kamakura, I'd say. I mean, the bands, to me, it just feels sort of like... Mm, this is weird, actually. Utsuro doesn't really... What is Utsuro? doesn't really do anything. Maybe it's just a Hanoka ban. I don't know. Yurina, Utsuro is the biggest question mark for me, honestly. I think it's the weakest pair in a vacuum for Udo. That just seems odd. The ranges don't really match super well. The the reactions are, like, mediocre from, like, Shadow Wall and, like, Uranami Storm. Like, they're playable. They're not great. So I think in a vacuum, the bands are like Hanoka and like Yatsuha, maybe. <laughs> or it could be Himika. For Yurinia Utsuro, the Tsukikake Crush basically forces a reaction out of the opponent. And that usually means you instantly hit Ashen after. You can also use Roche to turn off their after attack. So you can effectively deny Sukikage Crush from being able to shut, or not sorry, Ernami Storm from shutting down your Sukikage with that. Yep. All right. So yeah, I just I think, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I missed it. Are you saying that the the flare dumping for the wait? What are we talking about again? Oh, the Ashen. Yeah. For dumping yeah. your flare on the other side? Yeah, Sukikage forces yep. the reaction. It gives you immediate ash, and usually, even even if they don't play a reaction, there's a good chance you get ash after you play Sukikage. I see. I have to. I get to Aura, which is basically 7 flare plus 4 Aura. Almost ashen. Basically ashen. Or you're hitting it to life, in which case you're winning the game. So are we doing post commentary on the other match then? I guess so. That's fine. Or no commentary. Honestly, that match is going to be Resident Sleeper. That's a, I, I talked to Hero about it. It's just going to be Kane A, Yata A versus um, not Hano. He, he thinks Hanoka is going to be banned. So Yuri. How long is this ban face? Holy shit! This is <laughs> how long is really this ban face? I don't know. What do you think the ban on Wudo side is? It's definitely not. It's definitely not your A two. It's either Yatuha or Himika. I don't know. I don't know. Shit, we got. It's actually probably Himika, oh, right? Because crazy. Himika's biggest weakness is giving your opponent a lot of flare early, and I don't think Wudo can really leverage that with his comp. So it's probably just a Himika ban, yeah. Sure. Sounds about right. Yeah, let's go with that. See Himika ban Himika. Everyone hates Himika, we ban Himika. That is true. No, it's, it's not true. But it, it's definitely true for intermediate players. Like Those are the two auto bans. It's Himika and Kamui in intermediate play. And Shinra. In, Shinra? I, I personally don't care. Oh, I play Takoyo, so it kind of shits on Shinra. So maybe that's why I don't care. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? Don't know. Anyway, let's what? move on to the other this game. Weird desync thing going on. 
Oh, where you get to oh, see the yeah, other SMU people are going to join the tournament. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I say, but why are they randomly talking about that now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because this <laughs> face takes forever. Why? 10 minute ban phase play. or something. Is this a I first, know. To, first to five ban phase? Are they playing rock, paper, scissors or something in a first to 10 format? I don't know. Yeah, do I think, think, I think Wudo just hasn't logged playable. this yet. Girl I think Conaway is still playable. No, but yeah, I have. If I really, if EI has something to show me, like I'm kind of curious to watch the other match just to see if there's any outrageous shenanigans. Like I, he's just gonna do something that blows my mind. He's gonna play cards I've never even read before, and then he's just gonna win, and I'm gonna be blown Sekiro's away. by Hero is going to play into a five four attack. I literally told him that is the only way he loses the game, so I hope not. <laughs> That's literally what I told him. For reference, I ran into a 5-4 earlier okay, today. So Zuru is banned, and Urena A2 is banned. Wow, I was completely wrong on the ban. So, Urena who keeps joining and leaving the stream? Who is it? Stop. Makes a noise. Uh, Probably somebody channel surfing. Stop channel. Between the two matches. I don't hear it because I have streamer mode on. You should probably just divide it up, right? Just go stream in a different channel for the other match? Mm, I don't know. It's kind of hard to watch yeah, both matches. Watch both matches at the same time. Well, can I just mute Discord then? Is there any way you can like definitely that? turn your notifications off. Yeah, how do I do that? I just don't want to hear like, okay, you know what? I'll turn on OBS. I should fix it. Okay, now okay, I'll OBS fix that. <laughs> Just turn OBS on to enable streamer mode instead of doing streamer mode on your own. Yep. Maybe that'll fix it. Okay, he left. So pick a match, people. You can't watch both. You can watch right. both. Uh, oh, you chased oh Bone right God. away. What a what a I rude did. man. Ow. I thought he was deafened. Oh well. Rip that Conaway game. We'll he never was see just how muted. it. No, we missed a Kane game. Yeah, it's being anyway. recorded. <laughs> yeah, all of them are being recorded. Which is so weird, because M4 was just like, no, we're not recording them. Like, uh, can we stream them? No, we're not streaming them. So like, now we're recording and streaming them. Just like, I don't understand. <laughs> I have to stop streaming as soon as the other game ends. That's the other. That's the only caveat. I don't like, understand. Once any oh. of the games end, I have to stop streaming. Oh, I... Okay, I was not informed of that. That's really... Well, why? So the other players can't... Yeah, so the other players like can't see what their yep. opponents are doing. Yep, yep. But they I have an they're... intermission where they can talk about it, though? Like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> they can talk about it if they want to, but they can't be spied on. Okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> anyway, these are the weirdest bands, honestly. I'm kind of surprised by them. I also, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what I would ban in either case. To be fair, but I mean, in a vacuum, Yurina Hanoka just seems strong. I mean, it feels like Yurina Utsuro just like just Yurina, seems like the weakest. Yurina Hanoka is very passive. Like you, you're kind of just at you're the mercy of your opponent's attack. You can't do much to mitigate it. You, you watched our last match. The... We were at the mercy of each other's attack. You can stop the two to three range guardian spirit right from ever going off, and maybe you're okay. Need to kite backwards and range lock of Imika Yatsuha. I don't know how that works, but yeah, I guess. I realized that five minute tech breathing is either too fast or too slow. Like when you need time to tech building, it could like seven to ten minutes for you. For who? Why do you have a like ten minute ban phase, but a five minute deck building phase? No, the the deck building and ban are right. supposed to be together. They yep. just they just were ready to go five minutes early, and then M4 posted that they were going to start at the half hour mark, so they waited. Wudu is probably the person that pull off everything uh, on the decks really well. I noticed that when I face. 
So I feel like in a vacuum, YHS has a better comp, but I'm I I do think that Himika Urina is actually really strong against Himika. So I don't know, man. I just cannot feel Himika. That's what I'm saying. I feel like in a vacuum, I think A's comp is just better. But as I said, I do think Yurina is a good answer to Himika, and Hanoka is not great. It's not horrible. She has some like wider range attacks, which is nice, but and has Charm of Blossoms too, which is also nice. So and like some good reactions. So it could really go either way. That's why I said like Hanoka, like as I, I feel like Himika and Yatsuha are just generally stronger. But I feel like Wudo's Megami's counter A's Megami's with the. Uh, with the season's turn again to break reflections and getting the early flare bonus with Yurina. So. So your bets on Voodoo winning? Um, it's hard. I don't really have a clear winner in my head currently. I don't really th I think maybe it'll come down to deck building. I'm trying to visualize the different builds. But I mean, it's just like a bunch of Himika attacks and then the two beatdown attacks from like. I don't think there's any shenanigans that you can really build like with A's deck. I think it has less variants. It's also with weird Wudo's because deck? you usually like to be a little bit behind in life as Yatsuha, maybe. But Himika yeah, is really good at taking the life lead. Yeah, uh, but it's just, it's just coverage, though. Like Honestly, the coverage is just so high and the ranges and the damage output is so high. You don't even really play... Like too much for reflections until like the end game. Basically, the reflections tend to line themselves early when Yurina makes her big comeback with the flare advantage that she's gotten. Oh my gosh! This Turn one shoot. Do you take this to Aura or Lice? Okay, you need to go for Aura. Well, this is actually interesting. Wait, what? Because there's nothing to follow up with. Not yeah, that's what I'm saying. Himika's. I wonder why. Usually it's A1 on no, one with Himika, right? This is Yatsuka. He could have drawn the perfect hand of shoot, phantom stride, quick shot. Then you would have taken two life damage. Shoot, phantom stride, quick shot. You have to discard another card, though. No, no, no. Oh, phantom it's, stride it's moves a... forward, too, as a card. Oh, no. Are you counting, oh, you're counting the vigor as another move mm -hmm. forward? Yes. Okay. So okay. in that specific, but I guess you're counting uh, All right. I'll try a small one. Looks like it's count. much more quiet over there. <laughs> That's a bit. Bye bye. Bye bye. So in that case, you would have been punished for taking shoot two aura. Did A end his turn twice? These mind S A and his turn twice. Really wanted to He's drive passing his next turn too. <laughs> All right, what would you do here if you were Wudo? Would you recover or advance? I mean, I guess this is. I mean, can, I'm just curious. Can I hear the quickly the thought process for shoot turn one instead of A one? I'm just curious. Um, you, you encourage you your opponent attack, to move forward. I think. Is what you're you're done denying resources. You're, I mean, you're probably they're probably going to take it to Aura because they're not expecting any kind of follow up, right? That makes it so they can't Every focus. It opens up the shadow, so you get to like recover from shadow instead of being forced to move forward. So it delays the game at long range a bit more. Interesting. Okay. So he's just waiting for Phantom Stride, pretty much. Then, right? Yeah, you're just delaying until you get the Himika combo. Shoot isn't used for the Himika 3 2 3 2 combo, so you're fine with playing it. Interesting. So, what is it? Something like Phantom Stride. Oh, A2. That's interesting. Uh, now, is it? The Phantom Stride doesn't matter. It's a Magnum. Bad. You need, still needs to play a card. Um, is it just Red Bullet, I guess? Yeah, or could Magnum be... Red Bullet. What else could there be? Backdraft. Backdraft, Phantom Stride. Red Bullet. Yeah, okay. Red Bullet. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. No reactions against. Man, imagine if Backdraft can buff Heap into Himika attacks. Such a great character. <laughs> and then just the oh. flinch from Backdraft. Why not? Flinch is a bit more useful than guarding for resources because you need to close in. Well, flinch is like another card negate. So if you're 80, you go for an early reshuffle next turn because you played most of your Himika stuff out. And Yatsuha's yeah, that's going to be out of range. You think? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm kind of trying to evaluate how much we can move up okay. this turn. So if, yeah, if Wudo like just hard moves up this turn, then drawing your cards are probably fine. I can choose to be helpful to get free your deck faster. Or you could draw the two cards in your deck. If that's a backstep and the phantom stride, then And you just reshuffle, right? Uh probably you just draw them actually. Draw them then pass. Okay, Voodoo playing very patiently. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And revealed a uh, draft. You know, there's at least should be at least one Yatsuha normal attack in a stack. Mm -hmm. Probably it the can also three buff two specials actual though. Form. It can buff specials too. Drew, hey Drew. I mean that's. Drew and pass. Pass. Yeah. Oh, nice thing about right. Himika is you don't have to care about evening your deck. So we're looking for at least one life damage this turn. Coming in from Wudo, I'd say. Spirit right. What's it like? Uh, what's the shenanigans? Can you spirit right and then you season's you turn? Can walk forward twice and play a 3 1 slash. That's the best you can do. Yeah, they can't play out the two. 2-1 this turn on the thing. Can't Definitely a season's guardian. turn, though. You can't do the Guardian Spirit right loop because the range is too far. Yeah. It should be at, He's like, a... distance 4 or 3 for that to be possible. But if he has yeah. the, the secret lesser... enhancement tag. Unless your opponent walks forward, then you can't do the loop. So it's just, I mean, it has to be spirit right this turn, right? It's just spirit right, and then in a vacuum, you just like close the distance as much as possible. Like spirit right eight. I mean, I hate I don't a three. I mean, I don't know that that's obviously not correct. Spirit right a two slash. Might be a pedal storm this turn too. Oh, interesting. I didn't think about pedal storm. Pedal storm just goes to aura though. I think. And then storm. Pedal storm. Probably take two life and do a backwards movement. Mm, yeah, yeah I agree. Reflection. Yeah, you play the slash first. You don't play pedal storm first. So it's a two slash pedal storm. Spirit right. Yeah, they even bring spirit right. I oh, mean, if you're, this is the last turn, play it. And you build play off. It, so A2 slash. Spirit, right? Yeah, A2 slash, and then maybe Pedal Storm Spirit Raid or any variation of that. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. I thought I'm dumb. Oh, uh, okay. it took Slash. Yeah, Pedal lines. Storm. Okay, yeah. We'd... No, sorry. I thought that was the Pedal Storm. I wasn't thinking of. Right. I was, aura, thinking, aura I was thinking in the future. This goes to Aura. Almost certainly, right? There's no reason for it not to. Nice. And then, and then the movement okay. here is inconsequential because Spirit Raid's going to come down almost certainly. Hey, took it to Aura. Yeah, back on me. Yeah, we, yeah. If we think enough, we can just predict the turns. <laughs> and then what? Spirit rate? After that? Is it, is it just be a right or pass? Or is there any? You don't just take the, in the name of the flag, do you? Probably not. Seems You're holding an enhancement, then. 
You don't have the flare for it. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You just cash in the three two and say fuck the enhancement, but usually Sounds not like optimal. a terrible idea. Yeah, just give possible flare. one. Free. Yeah, I think Widow's thinking about maybe A1 versus Spirit, right? I guess that's probably the decision. Ending R4 against Yatsa has pretty scary. Maybe just Spirit, right? And hope your opponent recovers a little bit more? I mean, I'm not really sure. Ending R5 against Himika is also scary. <laughs> <laughs> Got to think real hard if you want to advance or not. This is high level Sakura arms. This is what it all comes down to. For all you newer players out there. When you get up there, it's all about one or two basic actions that can cost you the game. Yeah, PGM Spirit right instead of A1, which is fine. Or, right? Nothing else makes sense. Right, so. and that puts a lot of pressure on A to. Try and defend himself next turn. Eh, I don't know. Wudo's coming into an off turn next turn. He only has two cards, so. That's Maybe. true, but you're not going to be Maybe. able to do much when you have no aura. As far as manipulating distance and all that. Uh, not that right. Time time that much at distance five. Perfect backstep. draw of backstep magnum quick shot. Give Irina all the flare and have no aura for your. That's true. And then what? Sukakage into. We can just start predicting turn after turn until we just play the entire game in our head. And then Rudo walks up twice, Sukakage. And A walks up twice. And Crips is zero. <laughs> game over. <laughs> Dude, that's exactly how my game would end 100%. <laughs> I would see Kage so quickly the die with no regret. No regret, just a lot of uh, salt. That's true. <laughs> right? That's how I feel about my last yeah, match, matches. honestly. And there wasn't anything to stand out that I was like, damn, I wish I would have done one thing differently, but I don't even know if it would have mattered. Like I was so I was dead like so hard that I don't even know if it mattered. Like he might have been able to kill me twice. We can expect a Yatsuha attack in hand. Yeah, I mean... Would you bring Astral Claw, or yeah, would you bring Grim here? Astral Claw. I don't see why not both. I mean, what do, how many cards has he played? Magnum, Quick Shot, Backdraft. Yeah, the dream um, of four, no three, threes. twos. Can assume We've seen step. only four cards so far, so that, no, this makes five. There's two cards There's five, we haven't okay. seen for me. So one of them's probably Backstep. And then the last one, well, if uh, you bring Backstep or Phantom Stride, not both, right? Probably not both. I think it's probably Grim Edict and Phantom Stride. Interesting. But it could be Backstep, because the card draw in Backstep is super powerful. Okay, so it's Grim Edict. So yeah. now we're just right. short one card. Grim oh, Edict, three, three? it's a... Oh, this game's just over, right, then? Like, how much Backstep? Wait, 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 Hanoka countered. Yeah, here we go. There it is. So yeah, this breaks all like million reflections. Can he actually? It oh, goes down to two. That just makes it just makes it one reflection instead. So it's a three two. Yeah. Damn, that's unfortunate. Wait, three one. Three one. Weren't they Fuck. reflection on life? Yeah, three two. Yeah. Udo disconnects now. Uh huh. It's the ejector seat. All the math is gone. You're playing against Yasuha and you did the calculations wrong. The game's over. <laughs> you didn't do the math. Oh, what the hell? Okay. No Scarlet Visions? Is he just packing See? all attacks then? Does he have any way to back up? <laughs> There's still one card we haven't Good. seen. Huh? Makes sense. They Makes walk sense. forward to range four. You play your Yasuha attacks. Use your special backup and player Himika attacks. Yeah, I mean that's why I said in a vacuum. Like I like Ace Comp better, but I do think that Wudu has some good counters, specifically to this comp. 
This is when you yeah. reveal the last card in your hand is Magnum, and the game's over. As uh, Storm. He's going to storm this. Here's what he's thinking about right now is whether he wants to storm this or not. Go into Resolve and Storm. Brain storm. In case surely you bring Storm here, right? Yeah. You definitely bring Storm. You bring all the defensive tools you possibly can against, against fucking Himika. Mm. You're not packing all the reactions. Was it Storm Season's turn and Crush? That's what I think it is, if I had to choose. Although, I don't know. I always find it hard to bring both and have enough flair to do Storm and Crush, but I don't know. I suck. <laughs> I wonder if there's any players that purposely stall to act like they have reactions and they actually don't, and it's just a mind game. I know M4 does. <laughs> I'm pretty sure M4 does. Mm. And I'm so very certain M4 does. does. There Next it is. Storm. Okay. This is a really bad storm, though, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's not this is just like a value. pity storm. So yeah, still I mean, this feels like aura, a last resort. And then... A loses one aura. Oh, he does take it to Aura, too. I mean, this is just rough. I mean, What's this is really... Storming and taking it to life would be pointless. Well, no, because you go into Resolve and you have... You may as well just take the attack there. then, right? Well, you, I, you, then you're playing Storm to do oh, one yeah. Aura damage. Yeah, oh, never mind. Actually, that have Magnum last card. Wow, that was an amazing draw. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah, he's bleeding. That means the, the last two cards that A put on the bottom of his deck were the two Yatsuha attacks. Then A reshuffled and then top decked exactly quick shot and Magnum. Oh, God, Himika Gamer. I <laughs> got he. Well, let's see. Is there any potential for lethal here? No, not with not a distant six and having two cards in okay, hand. Okay, so it's and how many turns has this game been? The last card beat for A has got to be backstep, right? Because if they had Phantom Stride, they would have played it. Like this is brutal. Oh, I can't even final blow. That's disrespectful. All right, how do you win this game now? I mean, Vermilion Field should resurge, but... Why does it resurge? I forget. Oh, wait, check if the research condition is mandatory or optional. Yeah, you're uh, mandatory. Looks like mandatory to me. Judge, 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 do your judge. judge. <laughs> they don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, oh, there you go. Hey. Is season's turn again optional or mandatory while we're at it? Pretty sure Check that one quick. is optional. You may sit. Wow. I mean, what do you do? Uh, I mean, the key, the nice part about the one thing I will say that is not great in A's position is that he doesn't have any flair. So he pretty much has to kill you with cards in hand. But I mean, at this point, like at this point, I mean, he just he shuffles and top decks a Yatsuha attack. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's left? It's backdraft, backstep, and Shoot. um. Shoot. Yeah, he's just going to reshuffle off. He actually drew the best hand. What the heck? Do you know if you do any damage at all, then it's likely has a chance of a using that draw to discard one Himika special. Is it just A3? Yeah, it... or A2. Yeah. Can't really attack here or you're going to die. 
even holding that last card is, I guess it's uh, hedging a bit, but. Hey, how was he flinched? Uh, Grim Edict. Because of Grim Edict. Oh, he flinched himself. Oh, Drew. What? See, this is what I mean by buggy. You play the shoot into a backstep. A very good order. I it's think what happened way. was lag mm-hmm. something. Udo lost this 2 1. We need to go find it for him. All right, be right back. All right. He plays a shoot here. Do you take this to Aura or Life? Aura? Yeah, at this point, you just kind of have to cross your fingers, right? As you know, there are no Back follow-up to... attacks here but since... Then potentially specials, but uh, he's got no flare, so yeah, that's... Since Wudo is out of range, the flinch becomes a card cancel again, because you need to discard a card to move forward. We get the deck reveal from A. End up in the right order as well. Uh, Petal Storm first. That won't move you. Aura. Still kind of hard to attack because you don't know what the last special is. <laughs> you got two life left. I feel like you have to go save for a lethal burst. Did I miss anything exciting? Backdrafted him? Yeah, okay. That was a little interesting. I mean, do you ever reshuffle there instead of just playing out the hand? I'm not sure. Oh, no, you don't reshuffle. Lame. Wait, do you reshuffle there? Or what's the worst hand you can possibly draw off of that? The hand he drew. <laughs> if you reshuffle. <laughs> oh, no, like That's actually, if that's you draw exactly right. back the next step back draft shoot. Yeah, that's what he drew. <laughs> if you know if worst hand is already guaranteed draw, then shouldn't you reshuffle to take the chances? Well, there's merit in just taking the slow game too, I guess, because you can just wait out Wudo at this point. All right, if you're a Wudo here, what do you do? Cat escape the burst guaranteed. You have one turn to set you up, basically. At least three aura, so you don't die to a Yatsuha top deck. Mm. So at least two uh, cards in your hand should be advancing. Pedal Storm is not usable here because they'll just pick the retreat option. You don't have enough flair to Tsukikage. Wait, do you advance? Focus, focus, Tsukikage. And you die to their special. So you can't Tsukikage here. Oh, we're glitching out. Need to at least advance one more time to be safe. Even then, you're just going to die to Boyatsuha attacks. Something. But you can't attack here because of the specials. Man. My web sim really wants to be in two states. Oh, <laughs> top deck backdraft. All right, what's the best possible hand? Back 
step into Astral Claw, forced to take that to Aura, into Grim Edict, something. Yeah, into any life damage. Amazing Kimika player. <laughs> Rough game. GG. Damn. Yep, he got he got Hebe cut all over. That's all I have. Back step to two, three, two attacks. Best plays I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, I love Hebeka. I don't know. I honestly thought that Udo's ban was maybe the cause i'm not sure i really don't what? like the bands from either players honestly i don't exactly know how it'll work they need to ban himika there i i, I think so. i don't i don't know I, that was between himika and something else it's hard not to ban himika Urena a2 was what was banned yeah that was i that was the worst band in my opinion you just had no respect thought... for Urena A2, though. I, what do you mean? I locked it in for my tournament. I must have some respect for it. 